Congratulations to Canelo Alvarez for dominating Little Trollo, who had to move up two weight divisions to fight him. This was pretty much a paid sparring match. Jamel Charlo made over 20 million sparring Canelo Alvarez tonight. As you guys see, he looked like he sparred Canelo. And Canelo, on the other hand, made around 50 million doing the same thing. I hate to tell you I told you so, but I did tell you so on my prediction video. I picked Canelo to be Jamel Charlo because I had a feeling Jamel Charlo was gonna pay too much respect to Canelo Alvarez since he is moving up two-way divisions. Due to that, he's gonna allow Canelo Alvarez to fight at his own pace, at his own range, and do whatever he wants to do in the ring, which that's exactly what Canelo Alvarez did tonight. Anytime Jamel caught Canelo Alvarez with anything, Canelo Alvarez pretty much brushed it off and kept walking forward. On the other hand, whenever Canelo Alvarez landed, you could see the impact on Charlo. Charlo really respected Canelo Alvarez's power. Along with Canelo Alvarez's size advantage, that sealed the deal for Canelo. The million dollar question leading up to the fight was how Jamel Charlo was gonna react to Canelo Alvarez's power at 168. And we all seen it tonight. He overreacted every time Canelo Alvarez threw a punch for good reasons. And that's why a lot of people picked Canelo Alvarez to beat Charlo. From the opening bell, Jamel Charlo did everything wrong. He allowed Canelo Alvarez to walk to his range without making Canelo Alvarez pay. He was respecting Canelo Alvarez too much where he didn't let his hands go and he stayed on the ropes too long, blocking punches instead of slipping punches, which is a no-no against Canelo Alvarez, just like I told you guys on my prediction. I mean, I even called the moment and the punches that Canelo Alvarez dropped Jamel Charlo with in the middle rounds. That's how accurate my prediction was. However, I was surprised Canelo Alvarez didn't explode on Jamel Charlo after he hurt him. It seemed like he cruised to the later rounds or gassed out a little bit because he even allowed Jamel Charlo to come on strong in the later rounds. Perhaps Canelo Alvarez caught Jamel Charlo attention with the left hook or something like that. Nevertheless, congratulations to Canelo Alvarez and respect goes to Jamel Charlo for always willing to fight anybody and everybody, regardless of the disadvantage. Jamel actually called out Crawford to fight at 154, so if Jamel could actually go back and capture the WBO by beating Tim Zhu, then that will set up the Crawford fight to be for Undisputed, which is a fight I will still love to see. Since 154 is Jamel Charlo division, we all know we didn't see the best of Jamel Charlo at 168 since he had to move up two divisions to fight Canelo. 168 is simply not Jamel Charlo division. That's why he looked terrible at this division, which is why we don't see too many fighters move up two weight divisions right away and be successful, especially when they go up against another fighter who is at the peak of his prime. Furthermore, the million dollar question, who is Canelo Alvarez gonna fight next? Is it the winner of Benavidez versus Andrade? Is it Jamal? Is it David Morrell? Or Terrence Bud Crawford? Go ahead and drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe below. And to be continued on the next episode of Akhi TV. Peace out. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.